Okay, so here we are given an equation and we're asked to manipulate it, okay? Um, it asks us to make sure that it faces downward. Right now it's facing upward because there's not a negative in front of the absolute value. So we need to fix that. We need to keep the slope the same. So that means that we really don't need to mess with this number right here. We don't want to put anything in front of this uh, absolute value function there because that's going to affect our slope. But we are moving the vertex. So if we've got to move the vertex to positive 3, let's find out first of all where it's at, okay? Um, so we take what's inside the absolute value, set it equal to 0. Currently, the vertex is at positive 2, so that means we need to move it one more unit over, <coughs> but we can't change that 3x, so what can we do to, to change what's inside the absolute value there so that now the x-coordinate would be at 3? Change the 6 to a 9. <clears throat> that would be correct. We need to change that 6 to a 9. And we can check that. Set it equal to 0 and solve for x. And that gives us that the x coordinate is now at 3. The y coordinate needs to be at negative 2. Right now it's at positive 2. So if we just change that to negative 2. That's going to fix that, and then we still, we haven't addressed the facing downward, so we just need to put a negative in front of the absolute value function. <coughs> All right, so we get another example. What two numbers must be changed in this equation so that the vertex is now at one-half, three, and its slope is, we need to change two numbers so that the vertex is now at one half three and its slope is four. So the easy thing to deal with is the y coordinate of our vertex, right? Because we know that that's just the number on the end. So we know we've got to add three to the end of this equation. Now, we have to be a little bit more careful to fulfill the other parts, that the vertex is at one half and the slope is four. What is the slope currently? It's two, okay, all right, it's two because the number in front is two. We need that to be four and we need the vertex to be at one half. Anyone have any ideas of what one number, because we've already changed one, what one number can we change? How about we make it 2x there on the inside, okay? Because if 2x plus 1, uh, negative, negative 2x, okay, is equal to 0, <coughs> excuse me, then that says 1 is equal to 2x, and 1 half is now the x coordinate. And remember, when you multiply these two numbers together, you get the, the total slope, okay? So the total slope is 4. That does, that does fix it. Okay. Well, okay, so the, <coughs> the slope technically is positive and negative 2 because one side's negative, one side's positive. Um, so the negative in front um, is what just makes the absolute value function face downward. Um, Technically, the slope is, is currently positive and negative 2, and then here, technically, it's positive and negative 4. So we just... In this case, you do have to do the negative 2 on the inside because the x-coordinate of the vertex is positive 1. If you did positive 2, x plus 1, and you solved that, then you would get that the vertex is negative 1 half, but we wanted it to be positive 1 half. So that's why we did negative 2x plus 1. Okay, so some of this, when you're doing this, guys, you may just kind of have to, to trial and error, kind of like you do with factoring, and, and see what, what works. Okay, don't just put it down and assume that what you thought should happen, or thought would happen, is what does happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, when you have... When you have a coefficient in front and you have a coefficient on the edge, you multiply those two together to get the overall slope. Mm -hmm. 
All right, um, now it's more likely that you'll be asked to do this. You're given the picture and you're asked what is the equation, okay? You're given the picture and you're asked what is the equation. So uh, I always start with the vertex, okay? So the vertex here is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? Our vertex is at 4, 7. Um, biggest thing we need to notice also is that it is downward facing, so that means we put a negative in front. Um, downward means negative. Uh, and then we need to check the slope. Okay, we need to check the slope. So you start at the vertex, find the next closest um, whole number point, uh, and count your slope. It's down 2 over 1, so the slope is 2. So let's put the pieces together. Okay. There are several different ways that you can write this, but the easiest way to do it is to put the slope in front. Okay, put the slope in front. So the negative because it's downward facing, slope of two, put the two in front. You change the sign of the x coordinate, and then the y coordinate is just on the x. Right. So we'll get a couple more like that. Um, Vertex here is at 3, negative 2. It's upward facing. Our next closest point, we go up 1 over 3. So the slope is 1 third. So easiest way to write this, again, put the slope in front. Change the sign of the x coordinate. Keep the sign of the y. And especially with these guys, you can check it if you're not very confident in it. Plug your equation into the calculator, look at the graph, look at the table, and make sure that it agrees with the picture that you're given. Okay? Um, there's no secret uh, to that.